All right, so we're out here with another 1v1. We have two washers. This is a Kenmore Series 70s from the late 70s, early 80s. And then this is a portable uh, washer dryer from the early 80s. And clearly it just is falling apart when I grabbed it and picked it up, it fell apart. So now uh, both these, this is gonna obviously have a lot more steel on it. So we're not going for the steel, but we're gonna see uh, on the precious metals, uh, which one is better. Uh, sorry again, if this is kind of windy, I might have to do a voiceover, but um, anyways, big stationary washer versus small portable washer. Uh, what are your thoughts? Which one do you think is gonna do better? While I'm pulling this apart, I'm going to take a minute here. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, down in the right-hand corner, if you're on your PC, smash that uh, subscribe button. Um, if you're on your phones, I'm going to throw a little card up in the right-hand corner. I'm grateful for those who have subscribed and are following along uh, with us on our channel. Um, let me know uh, in uh, the comments below, do you keep uh, the washers and dryers whole and just send them to the scrapyard as is? Do you pull the motors? Uh, I'd really like to know what you guys do. Um, you can throw that in the comments down below. And once again, thank you for watching, and you guys are amazing. All right, so we got every the motor pulled out of there, electrode, um, a few other bits. There's the the gauges and switches. We've got the wires. Still gotta get that power cord, but I'll do that when I flip over. This is all just still here, going up uh, into the bottom of the barrel. So. Oh, there may be a pump in there. I'll take that off and see what's behind that real quick. Um, but other than that, uh, that's pretty much all we're gonna get off this little guy. So we'll move on to the bigger one. Alright, there we go. We got the motor out. We've got the control panel. That's aluminum. Got to take off all those switches. We got the wires, the cables, and that is just the steel uh, pump on there. So we're just going to take and send that pile to the salvage yard. Alright, so just got everything finally cleaned up. Here is our Kenmore dryer. We have the motor the housing that was around it that's cast aluminum um, got a few of these switches in here that's uh, brass these are all from switches the wires that we've still got a strip for the copper um, this is the front light that's aluminum so um, we're gonna check out right now to give us an idea of what this motor is let me just that's aluminum and there's two different colors of wire here, but that's both aluminum. So not gonna be a lot of copper on this one, unfortunately. We only have uh, the wires. So that being said, um, let's see how the portable washer does. All right, so here's our rolling uh, portable washer. Um, we got all our cords. Um, I still got to pull this uh, switch apart and get the brass out of there. And also there's some silver in there. Little motor on the end of that. Um, there was a little copper uh, temperature gauge that was in there. We got some aluminum, some cast. And then uh, we've got our motors here. Um, this was the main big motor. Um, this, I think... Uh, yeah, that's that's copper. Both these are all copper, so it's looking like uh, we've got four copper windings that came off that little one. So that's gonna maybe put this in an advantage. But anyways, we're gonna get these all cut apart, and uh, then uh, we'll get them melted down and see what our final is in the end. So stay tuned.
the aftermath. All the steel, the garbage, and our copper. Big old pile of aluminum. There's our motor and garbage. All right, got my crucible stuffed with the aluminum wiring. Got all the cast broken up here to throw in with it. And we're gonna start melting, so. Alright, we got all the wires down through the strip meister there, so we'll get that melted up. All right, so we have our cleanup. This is the portable washer. And then over here we have the stationary washer, which is a little bit larger. So um, out of these, uh, clearly we got a little bit more copper on that, which is gonna help the price on it. So we ended up with one pound, 11 ounces of copper with a portable and only, uh, let's see, five ounces of copper with the other one where that motor was aluminum we ended up with a lot more aluminum that's over two pounds so two pound 12 ounces of aluminum versus um only 10 pounds of or 10 ounces of aluminum there uh with brass we have one ounce here and that includes this um these have the, the silver uh connectors on there so we'll be getting those off before we melt that down and then as for the stationary, it had a lot more brass. Uh, it was about 2.3 uh, ounces of brass. So totaling uh, $5.77 for the portable and $2.89 for the stationary. So portable takes the win in this 1v1. Um, thank you again for watching. Um, I hope you all have a, a blessed week and uh, God bless and be kind to someone out there.